YouTube. It's your boy Dominic Cruz coming at you with another video. Yes, another one, another one, another one. Uh, what's going on, you guys? I hope you guys are trying for your purpose and mission in life. You guys are going out there, working hard for it, for it grinding it out, and <laughs> I'm getting rewarded for it because at the end of the day, when we go after that purpose and mission in life, good things do happen. Ooh, had that little loop. Um, today's video, we're going to do a little bit of a reaction video, um, basically on one of Dan Bacon's video, uh, how to get an ex back after begging and pleading. So I'm going to watch this video and you're going to join me, of course, and we're going to listen and I'm going to give you guys some, some advice. Now in this video, he actually has some good points, but, at, but at the end, I'm going to share <laughs> what I think you should really do and why. Yeah. So without further ado, let's get it started. Mm. Let's go. So how can you get your ex back if you've made the classic mistake of begging and pleading with her? It's pretty simple. Mm -hmm. right? You've got to laugh it off. Right? You've got to see it as not being a serious mistake. Okay. Because the truth is we all make mistakes in life. We all live and learn. And sometimes when a person is going through an emotional situation, a challenging situation, sometimes they will make mistakes in their communication and behavior, and they might even learn from that. You know, if a guy is a great man, if he's becoming a better man over time in life, then he's going to learn from his mistakes. He's not going to continue making the same mistakes over and over and over again. I do agree with that. And you know what? Um, we... Obviously, uh, we've all made mistakes on begging and pleading. You know, I've actually, I can laugh it off now. Um, you know, that I've, after, you know, my breakup, it was like the final breakup. But, um, you know, I tried getting her back and I told myself, I wouldn't do it, I wouldn't do it. But my emotions got the best of me and I tried my best. And um, it was just the most embarrassing thing that I can do. But I laugh it off and I'm just like, damn. <laughs> Damn, but I'm pretty sure, you know, um, you know, that's one of the things that I, I I look back at that specific moment, and then I'm like, why not do that? And then I just laugh it off, and then I actually tell, I actually, uh, uh, pretty much joke around about it, in off obviously in a playful manner way, and just brush it off my shoulders. If you're in that area where you did something so embarrassing because you try to get your ex back. You're not alone. But just because he made a mistake, it doesn't mean that he's a failure. It doesn't mean that he's a bad man, a hopeless man, an unattractive man, a no-hoper. You know, no way. Instead, it's simply a learning opportunity. It's a mistake that he's made mm -hmm. and he's learned from it. Yep. So when you talk to your ex about the fact that you're begging and pleading, you can laugh and say that we all make mistakes. Yes, I was being silly. You've probably said or done silly things in the past too. And then just laugh it off. Mm -hmm. From then on, you just need to be a confident, masculine man in every interaction that you have with her, and she will then begin to respect you again. She'll begin to forget about the mistakes that you made because, hey, you're able to look at it and laugh at it and say, yeah, you know, I was being a bit silly there. You know, we all make mistakes in life. Uh, I'm sure you've made some mistakes at times. Uh, you know, when I look back at it now, I think, you know, that was pretty silly of me to react like that. But, hey, we all live and learn. Yep. Then from then on, just be right. the confident, masculine, mature man that you have now become. Don't let her continue to bring that stuff up or don't let it continue to make you feel bad and feel like you made a fatal mistake, a horrible mistake, that you're hopeless, that you're a horrible man for doing that. No, it's simply something that has caused you to learn and become a better man. Yeah. You have learned from it. You have grown from it. And there's nothing wrong with that. We all make mistakes in life. Everyone makes mistakes. Sure. But what sets a man apart and makes him a great man is when he learns from his mistakes and becomes a better man as a result. He's so right. some guys watching this video will now say, oh, thanks, Dan. That's awesome. I'm going to use that to get my ex back. Whereas other guys might say, well, that's great. It's awesome. But I still feel emotionally weak. I feel like I'm not going to be able to be that strong around her. So what should I do? Okay, hold on. Um, if you're using that to get your ex back, um, how are you, this is the thing where I think he's telling the guys, first off, be a better man. That takes a lot of time because you don't just become a better man after 30 days or 60 days. You learn, right? But she needs to be able to see what you're doing and pay attention to everything that, obviously pay attention to the things that you're doing, you know, results 
of, of success and all this other jazz. Like, she'll be able to see that uh, and say, damn, he's actually doing a lot better and he's not talking to me. I mean, for real, like, if your ex is still around in the picture while you're still striving and succeeding in your goals, I mean, it's just kind of like you're not really setting yourself up to get her back. But at the same time, you got to really ask yourself if that's someone that you really want back. And there's a lot of guys that will say, oh, I don't, I don't want her back. I don't want her back. Da, 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 da. You're going to get tested. You will get tested. The universe will hear. And you will get tested. I'm telling you. Let's finish the rest of this video, and I'm going to give you guys my thoughts. And that's where my program comes in. Oh, if you do need yeah. help, if you're not feeling emotionally strong, if you don't know what to say or do around her to make her feel respect, attraction, and love for you, that's when I recommend you should watch my program, Get Your Ex Back Super System. It's 10 hours of video, and by the end of it, you will feel emotionally strong. You'll be confident when you interact with her, and you'll know how to get her to feel respect, attraction, and love for you again. So if you have made the mistake of begging and pleading to your woman after she broke up with you, just don't worry about it. Seriously, it's not that big of a deal. Sure. People make mistakes all the time. Yeah. You are a great man if you learn from that mistake and become a better man as a result. You're not a failure for doing that. There's nothing wrong with you for doing that. You've simply learned something in life and you've become a better man as a result. All right. So how can you get your ex oh, back? Shit. Okay, so he's right. You know, you do become a better man. And here's the thing, right? <laughs> you guys saw that I spit my drink out. <laughs> <laughs> because it's funny because if you want this answer buy this program i get it that's bread and butter um but i'm giving this advice for free you want to know how to if you really want this person back right here's the thing you work on you find your your niche in life find the thing that makes you really happy you know at the end of the day it's not all about the money but it's all about what makes you happy and if you find something that's going to be that you're passionate in, then follow that. I'm very passionate in what I do today. I'm a marketer. I specialize in social media the most, uh, social media marketer, and that is my bread and butter right there. Um, you know, hence why you know I work from home. I do what I do, and you know, there's other companies that well, I, I like to, that you know that, that I work with. I like to work with, and you know, and and so forth. So how if you gotta really look at the look at it this way. And if you beg and pleaded, we've all been there. And it's 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 an embarrassing feeling because you get rejected. But honestly, I'm thankful that I got rejected because one, I mean, life took care of it for me. It just said, Hey, we're just gonna I know you're gonna make this move. So we're just going to, it's just basically life saying, she's not going to take you back, but we'll take you there to see it for yourself, right? It just helped me learn so much of who I am and how great that I can be. Because from that moment, that's when I started realizing, you know what? I don't need you. And you're going to see how much of a, how, 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 you're, 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 you'll, you'll probably see how much you're going to miss out on because there's no one. And, and my mentality is because there's no one like me. That's, that's basically the mentality that I have. And that's the mentality that I think you should have too. value yourself. Be this guy that claims himself as a catch. If she wants to come back, I wouldn't really make it easy for her to, for, for, for her to earn you. She has to earn you. So the whole begging and pleading, you really got to look at it as something that you could just brush off. And if you are in an emotional stage right now, then, you know, brush it off. Try to brush it off. Take it one day at a time, one moment at a time. Go out to the clubs. Go out to the bars. That's what I did almost every single week. I did it probably like two or three times a week. Best time. Um, because I went out and mingled with people. You know, I met beautiful women. Um, dated beautiful women and all that and you know even though i was hurt i still went out and did it and um it was great to be honest i mean i can't do that now because i'm in a relationship so and uh <laughs> you know i'm uh i'm pretty happy to be in that relationship she's cool as hell and you know me going out and doing all those things 
<laughs> let me to that go. So that's pretty much what you got to do. You got to look at this whole thing as begging and pleading. And, you know, his advice is right. You know, he is right. You are going to be a great person. You are a great man. You got to see yourself as a catch. And you got to look at that moment as, hey, brush it off. Um, but I don't recommend you buying his program. That's all I'm going to say. Just because the answers are not there. The answers are in this video as well. Just walk away and work on you. And if she, and again, I'm repeating myself. If she comes back, what is it that you want? Ask yourself, do you still want this person? Do you want this person even as a friend? You know, what is it? You may say, hell no, I don't want that girl. Life will test you. And your true answer will be revealed to you. Think about that. So if you find this information valuable, drop a like, drop a comment, drop a share. Uh, and of course, it's your boy Dominic Cruz coming at you with another video. And I hope you guys find this information very valuable. Uh, but until next time, guys, you guys take it easy.